hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i've lost um the first bit of footage from this video which is kind of annoying but it was literally just like a one minute clip of me saying that me and megan booked the Welcher mystery holiday on the 15th of july when we got paid we just thought fuck it let's do this let's give it a go i heard quite a few people talking about it who we were like it's only 99 pounds and we get both flights and accommodation included and we could be going somewhere really sick and um, we didn't mind literally anywhere. The only place I didn't really want to go is Romania because I'd literally just gone um, like a few weeks before. So I was kind of like, oh, it'll be really annoying, but not the worst. But yeah, so we were quite open-minded about the whole thing. We just did it and then we just had to wait. So here is how the next bit of the story unfolds. Right, so last last clip I filmed was the day Wait, me and can we Megan... just say ignore the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. We've just faked time and we're in London at the minute. But me and Megan booked Welcher Mystery Holiday last month. Yeah, July. Yeah, and uh, last time I filmed was literally the day we booked it. So we've been patiently waiting and it's been like a week and a bit since the draw date. So on the 31st of July, they were like shutting down the mystery holiday thing. They've got like a new one already up on their website. So oh, if, yeah, if you want to go and book one, I'll leave the link down below. But yeah, so they've closed our one so that they can like start dishing out holidays. Well, Megan's sister and stepsister have both booked like separate holidays and they rang Woucher and found out their yeah, place. Yeah, is has got Prague, Lauren's got Krakow. That's so exciting. Both, like like I'm buzzing. In, they're both in February time, so that's quite a good time to go because it's like nice and cold. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I want, I'm looking forward to a like European country. Six. I don't think I've been to a European country that's been cold, like, and I've actually wanted to do yeah. that, like dressing up really like warm. I'd be happy to in go coats, with, yeah. anywhere, as long as it's not Romania. I feel like they're quite lenient though. They seem quite accommodating. Mm. Like quite a lot of my friend, like one of my friends on YouTube, Anomalous Chloe, she's going away with her friend Georgia and they like switch stuff around in bits and pieces because they didn't meet the original criteria and stuff so let's have a look I'm just trying to like I'm just about to ring and I'm really scared what do you think so a if tip not, if is we to get, ring yeah we get given a few options and we're like mm, we hang yeah. up ring back in like half an hour yeah see if we can get anything better so Lauren said um but it will definitely if they first say European countries then it will definitely be European countries yeah won't I it? also Lawrence, I said, did you guys get to change your dates? And she said she's going in February, not March now. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. So, so well, they seem quite accommodating because we started getting a bit worried because we'd seen quite a few reviews on, like, Twitter and stuff, obviously slating it. And I think it's because people didn't read, like, the terms and conditions and didn't really know what they were in for, whereas like, I feel like we were like, yeah. right, we know what we're doing. And we're um, like yeah. And when with people, um, like, at work and just friends and stuff, when they've asked about it, uh, they've asked like do you put in dates and stuff and I don't think I explained that so when we first went on the website We put in our like top three most preferred dates like we'd like to like leave on um, if we like got any of the holidays and then top three or four airports Yeah, top three or four airports so obviously like, if you're in Manchester, London. Like you yeah, get those. Yeah. Oh god I'm really nervous now. We're gonna ring up We'll probably be on hold, I reckon. For a little yeah, while. so even though they've definitely got our thing sorted like or a potential destination sorted haven't they it's just they're try they're currently in the midst of Lily got offered venice so. as well first i'd be sick she got venice or i'm so happy with the european yeah, country baby. hello i bet you might watch mystery holiday about a month ago or whatever i'll just make it up on the spot i'm really awkward calling anything. weekend of breaks if you're calling about a mystery holiday voucher you've purchased press one for all of the same thing if you've bought a mystery holiday voucher, we will contact you within 10 working days. Email updates will be sent every 48 to 72 hours to keep you informed on the progress of your booking. Please check your junk or spam folder if you have not received any emails. We're currently experiencing a high volume of calls and wait times are more than 15 minutes. If you would still like to speak to a member of the team, press 1. Alternatively... Should we tell them this early in the morning? On oh, Friday, like people are work. Right, so um, we can get through to Welcher earlier, so they've been trying to call me en route to our thing in London, so I'm going to ring back. Mm. Hope you can hear. Hello, um, I recently booked uh, the Welcher Mystery Holiday last month and I was just wondering if there was any updates on our like booking. Thank you. Very 
Price? Yes, it is. <laughs> I look like an egg because I've got okay, a so on. Oh, we're in a pretty area show. <laughs> if you didn't hear, they're going to call us back. Yeah, I think another Because life the is rough for us. Very true. So it's going to come any second now, so we're going to have to stop again. Oh my god, no, wait, this is a Manchester oh. number. We've just had to leave um, somewhere in the city because I got a call from Weekend Breaks. So we're just waiting for them to come back because the connection completely went. Yeah, I have signal. It was just really loud in there and then it just cut off when she was talking. <laughs> you but she suggested. Um, but she suggested Berlin and she was like, have you been there before? And then I was like, yes, because I haven't, but Megan has. But if I don't really don't mind going back because I was there you, for like a couple of days. And literally, I got to barely do anything. So, so yeah, I wouldn't mind going, like obviously I would love to go to Berlin. And I was went in summer, so in Christmas. Yeah, yeah, because we're thinking about going like December, January time, so it'll be cold. Um, so we're just waiting for a call back. <laughs> she decides to ring me back, I don't know. <laughs> Yes, I think I spoke to someone, but the line cut off, so I've been trying to call back. So, um, she said she was going to have a look and see if there was any other destinations available. Okay, thank you so much. So, you have been to Berlin before? Uh, yeah. Yes, we have. There's also, the second week of January is also okay, if that makes it any better to change the destination. Uh, end of November, did you say? Yeah, uh, no, only December or January will work best if that's okay. Okay, so what she just said on the phone, we're just on hold. I thought it came back on. Um, she's basically said that we could either have two nights in Berlin, which would be peng at Christmas, and like Megan said, she's only been there like a couple of days, so there's still like other stuff to do. And I, I've always wanted to go. Like I saw, I wanted to see the Berlin Wall. We only saw like a little chunk of it, like we didn't get to see this bit where there's actually yeah. loads and stuff like that. And we'll be able to go to like the Berlin Christmas markets. Yeah. But yeah, we're just gonna see if there's any other options because sometimes they can like sort it out. So if not, then yeah, because my sister had like I'd be happy with Portugal, then something else, and now she's going to Krakow. Same with my yeah. So you, it, it's your decision on what. Because I'd I'm happy to go Berlin, but I don't want to do it if you're not happy. Yeah, if they. Hello. No, I I can't do November. Berlin's actually quite a good one because they it's like Christmas, uh, like Christmas stuff to do. And Berlin, I feel like if we were in Spain in like yeah the winter, it would be a bit shitter. And Berlin's a really nice city. I really love it. Yeah. Hello. Venice. Venice. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, what dates? What dates would these be for? It would be 10th Jan to 12th Jan. What was the Berlin date? What were what were the what were the dates for Berlin? Which would you prefer? Just so we want to know the dates. Uh, it, would the Berlin dates be for December? Yes. Yeah, so. We just want to compare the dates for the two holidays to see which is best for us. Is that okay? Thank you. Not very good communication skills. No. Um, she's just suggested Venice, which would be peng, but January's probably going to be cold. Yeah, and it would be shit. Yeah, I think I'd prefer because it's Berlin. probably yeah. There's probably more chance of like rain in Venice. You'd want it to go in like summer, or spring, yeah. wouldn't you? I think maybe Berlin, depending on the dates. Did you mention that we're at Sipsi? Oh yeah, we we're at Summer in the City at the minute. We had to literally walk out the convention to get on the phone. We've literally just got here as well, pretty much. Like we haven't really looked properly at what's about. We've got like matching glasses. I really enjoy it. Look. <laughs> Berlin. For Berlin, that's bad. But in January. Yeah, that's tenth to the twelfth. So we'll be Christmas. Yeah, it will still be Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, that would be perfect. Berlin, tenth till the twelfth, if that's okay. What are the times of the flights and stuff? Okay. And the return flight would be at 11 a.m. and reaching the latitude is at 11 a.m. Is there any like earlier flights to go because that we wouldn't be in the country for 40 hours? That's okay. Thank you. It's just on the terms and conditions it says we have to be in the country for 40 hours and that wouldn't be okay. 
flight that would be on 6.30 am. I'm reaching there at 9.25 am. Yes, please. Yeah, so it would just come to like 20 pounds. Yeah. Okay. 20 pounds. To go, early to, to go at 6 am. Okay. And when's the return flight? And then, the, when's the return flight? If you wish to upgrade, I would like upgrade to the door flight that you can spend one day, 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 to move the flight? Yes. But it says in the contract that we have to be in the country for 40 hours, so we shouldn't have to pay for that upgrade, should we? Okay, but I'm just saying, why do we have to pay for the those flights? Because that those flight times are, are perfect, but I just am confused as to why we have to pay more for them. So how much is this going to cost us? Each. When we when we booked the mystery holiday, the contract says we have to be in the country for a certain amount of time. So I'm what saying, why do we have to pay extra just to meet the requirements of the contract? No, we do want those flights, I just don't want to have to pay extra for them. I'm confused at what you're saying now. What I was saying is that in the contract of the mystery holiday voucher, we have to be in the country for 38 or 40 hours or something. And those original flight times you gave us wouldn't do that. So you're making us upgrade. She's not listening to anything I'm saying. Right, okay. So that's probably the most negative thing that's just happened. Basically, we were going to get a 6 p.m. flight, get there at 9 p.m. on the 10th, and then, and then fly have the 12th, 11 a.m. On, on the 12th. The, yeah. So we and that would not give us 30 hours in the country. No. And she's trying to make us upgrade. Double check on your time. To meet the requirements of the contract, which we shouldn't have to do. We should. They should already be meeting the contract yeah. requirements. Which is what I was trying to say to her. But she wasn't listening. She's kept repeating flight time. Is there any way we can pay it at a later date? Because we weren't expecting to have to pay forty pounds today, so can't. Why can't we just pay it all at a later date? Can we not just pay it all at a later date? It's just I feel like any company you ring on the phone, it's just fucked because they, the people in the call centres don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. They're just sat at the call centre. And it's really hard to like try and keep your call because. And they're like they like, just have to read off a script. That's all they have. Yeah. They, that's why they just keep repeating the same thing because they are. Uh, yeah. So we're going to Berlin. Well, it is worth it, but it's just annoying because they didn't specify that at all in the terms and conditions. That is this from London Luton Airport? Yeah. Okay, perfect, thank you. N9T. Same as Mike. No, N as in Nancy. Nancy. Uh, N as in November. November, yeah. Alright, N. T. Two. T. Three. Okay. Tom, T for Tom. Fucking hell, finally. So, <laughs> we have just been sat out here. I've been on the phone for over an hour altogether. How awful is that? We've been out here for an hour and obviously we've paid to come to Summer in the City this weekend. We've barely been inside and they've just messed us about. So basically, if you're not looking for any trouble, don't book with <laughs> the Welcher thing. Obviously, it is a good deal, retrospectively. It is good, like it we've is. got two... Mm -hmm. Two nights in Berlin. And three full days yeah, in Berlin. Yeah, for 120, 140 quid. Yeah. Hotel. Yeah. Flights and hotel. It is good for the money. It's just a lot of hassle. So if you've got some time to, to kill, waste a few hours of your life on the phone trying to sort out your whole details. Um, they were originally trying to get um, us to be in the country for literally like 30 hours when literally in the contract on the Welch website it says we have the 99 pounds covers us in the country for 40 hours so if they'd have given us them flights they'd have literally been breaking their own regulations which is not on considering we've obviously paid the full amount so that's why me and Megan were like piping up a little bit um, we were trying to be <laughs> as rude as possible but it's getting frustrating because we're literally paying to be here and we're not even in the convention it's just there <laughs> all sorted um, and we'll give you like a final update later when everything's come through. So, um, a little summary about the whole experience. 
I would say it's definitely worth it if you're quite open-minded about the whole situation. I think we've been given a really lovely hotel to stay in Berlin. I didn't think the accommodation was going to be as good as it is. Um, obviously, I'm going to be vlogging the whole thing, so make sure you stay tuned and go and subscribe to my vlog channel because I will be filming mine and Megan's experience and you can see how the actual holiday goes um, and whether all of the like flights accommodation and everything runs smoothly. So it's sort of like a part two to this, but in vlog form. But yeah, I would 100% say it's worth it. You do, ca you can have a bit of hassle on the phone. It's taken me ages to talk to whoever it was. She wasn't great with communication at the call center at the weekend of breaks. And she just gave me a bit of a headache. <laughs> Um, she's been like repeatedly calling me whilst I was on holiday even though I said that I wasn't going to be able to pay until I got back and Meg Megan tried to get in contact and pay whilst I was away to um, pay the extra fees because me and Megan decided that we wanted to pay for an extra £40 each to get like three full days. Yeah so me and Megan decided we want to have like three full days in Berlin so we can get as much jam packed in as possible so they gave us options to pay a little bit extra if we wanted to get better flights that would suit us so um they are quite catering and accommodating to your needs they also gave us the option of venice so they literally don't mind even changing your location if you've been to somewhere before so sorry my camera just died i'm having an absolute nightmare but anyway i was saying i definitely think it's worth it i'm giving it a thumbs up i'd say from start to finish i'd give it a 7.5 out of 10 because it took about three hours in total probably like when it's all clumped together trying to actually sort out the destination all of the fine details and like paying for extra stuff and the communication was so poor but it could have just been like one person at the call center was just really bad with communication um, and she wasn't understanding anything we were saying or anything we were trying to say when we were obviously trying to like say that we weren't going to be originally meeting the conditions of the contract. The whole concept of it is really good. I just feel like they over um, subscribe people so then they get stressed out and then they don't actually tell you within the date that they should. So if you end up booking one of these, definitely ring them up after the draw date because they are willing to clearly tell you where, where you're going. They spend like longer sorting out dates and just sort of waiting for people to call in. So yeah, definitely call them up if you do because we were waiting patiently and we didn't actually need to. We could have just r rang and found out a lot sooner and like organized our dates, times and flights and etc. I think the whole idea that someone else is like sorting out your holiday is quite good because um, sometimes holiday planning can be stressful especially like a little city break like in Europe or something and you're more likely to get a Europe city break than the D Dubai, Thailand, New York, Las Vegas. I've seen quite a lot of people online though get them places so it does actually happen it's not like a scam and you just get European cities um, but yeah so for me I'd say 7.5 I'd probably do it again to be honest because it's not like stuck into place so like if I got Bucharest in Romania I could change it and that was something I didn't want to do I, I would have wanted to do if I did get Romania because I literally only went like a few weeks ago like months ago whatever so yeah anyway thank you very much for watching this video I hope it's been informative make sure to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this content and let me know if you want me to test anything else out that people are doing because I love this style of video I've never done something like this before so yeah hope you guys like it make sure to hit thumbs up subscribe down below if you're new subscribe to my vlog channel to see the Berlin vlogs and I will see you very soon for another video bye